Gideon. Gideon, son of Joash. Gideon is in the Bible in Judges chapter 6 to 8. Yep. Yep. Yep, and he's also called Jerubal. Yes. What does that mean? Jerubal means um, Baal can look after himself. Baal, oh. yeah. Or let Baal contend. In other words... This is a this is a pagan one of the pagan gods, right? Uh -huh. They're in Canaanite yep. country, right? Okay, okay. And so it really means as a Hebrew word is master, and um, wow. yeah. So that's a challenge yeah, they there. Had, yeah, they had a lot of uh, those uh, those gods, yeah. so called gods yeah. in those days. That's right. There's really no gods of all. Just yeah. just just really evil. Yeah, right? that yeah, you have no to deal kidding. with. Yeah. Yeah, and Gideon is then um, one of the judges, right? His yep. job is to uh, look after the Israel people, uh -huh. right? Representing uh -huh. them before God. Oh, okay. Pretty much. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. the Israelite people turned away from Almighty God yeah. and started worshiping Baal instead. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's... It's that, terrible. It happens over and over again. Yeah, and as a result, they were suppressed mm -hmm. and overpowered by the Midianites. And they also experience, experienced uh, spiritual bondage. That's right. That, yeah. that was the God situation, the spiritual challenge. Yeah, the Midianites were everywhere. They were, yeah. like, they were like swarms of locusts. It's thousands mm. and thousands of them. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah. So they were locusts. Yeah. In other words, they took everything. So when uh, the people had like crops or whatever, farm and cattle, sheep, yeah. And it, something matured, then the, those guys came. They took everything they, took, they owned. They took every, They took it all away from them. Yeah, yeah. And so, yeah, so the people were starving and desperate. Isn't that awful? So then they cried out to God for help. Yes, yes. Yep, and uh, God answers them. He he goes through Gideon. He, uh, he calls on Gideon to save the people. Mm. And um, that's, that's pretty neat. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. And so what's kind of neat too is when we read is it's Gideon was unsure yeah. if it was God. Yeah. Right? I mean, speaking to him, right? Yeah. Makes sense with all those evil spirits and gods and oh, all yeah. that terrible stuff. You don't know what to believe. Yeah, exactly. And But, but God reveals himself to Gideon. Yeah. yeah. And then Gideon finally believes. Yeah. Yeah. So he calls together an army of 32,000 men. To fight the Midianites. 32,000. It's incredible. But God had a different plan. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, so Gideon didn't fight with 32,000. Nope. Nope, the number was reduced significantly. And so so how is that How is that possible? Hmm. Yeah, did, uh, did Gideon win the battle? Well, how many men did, you know, join Gideon? How many people did he go to, to fight the battle with? Good question. Real people. Real events. Check it out. <laughs> 